Hello students, in this video we'll discuss the Cauchy Mean Value Theorem. The Cauchy Mean Value Theorem states the following. It states that if f and g are continuous on AB closed and differentiable on AB open, Then there is a C on the open interval A to B, such that what? Such that F prime of C times G of B minus G of A is equal to G prime of C times F of B minus F of A. All right, so how do we prove this generalized version of uh, the mean value theorem or this Cauchy mean value theorem? Well, the proof goes as follows. I'm going to construct a function h of x. And what is h of x? So I'm just going to sort of follow what the theorem is basically encouraging me to do. It's going to be f of x, g of b minus g of a minus g of x plus g of b plus f of b times f of b minus f of a. So there's a function. Now this function, of course, is just a combination of f and g, right? So this function over here, this function h, is continuous on a, b, and it's differentiable on the open interval a, b. Okay? And so what can I say, therefore? I can therefore say that the mean value theorem, by the mean value theorem, the ordinary mean value theorem, There's a C in the interval A to B, such that what? Such that H of B minus H of A is equal to H prime of C times B minus A. Okay. So let's check. What is, um, well, we know exactly what H prime of C is going to be as well, right? And so what's h of b and h of a? h of b, let's check it out. So what's h of b? Let's do that calculation. So h of b is going to be what? Is going to be f of b, g of b minus g of a, minus g of b, f of b minus f of a. And so that will simplify to what? That will simplify to, let's see, I have, I have a g of b, f of b, positive, negative, so those are going to cancel out, right? And we're left with a what? So we're left with a g of b, f of a with a positive sign, and then an f of b, g of a with a negative sign. Let's look at h of a. What's h of a going to be? So h of a is going to be what? It's going to be f of a, g of b, minus g of a, minus g of a, f of b minus f of a, okay? And so now what happens over here, well, I have, a, uh, I have a positive g of a, f of a, and a negative f of a, g of a. So those are going to cancel out, and we're left with what? We're left with f of a, g of b, and then minus g of a, f of b. g of a, f of b. Oh, it looks like what? F of B and H of B and H of A are exactly the same expression. So when you subtract H of B from H of A, you will get zero. So you get zero over there, which is good news. So that says that H prime of C times B minus A is equal to zero. But what is H prime of C? H prime of C, zero, which is H prime of C. Well, what's that going to be? Oh, that's a constant. So it's going to be F prime of C times G of B minus g of a, and then minus what? Then minus g prime of c times f of b minus f of a, and therefore this is equal to this. Therefore, f prime of c times g of b minus g of a is equal to g prime of c times f of b minus f of a. And that is the proof of the Cauchy mean value theorem. Thank you very much.